Jamiroquai, Jamiroquai, are a British jazz funk band from London, formed in 1992. Fronted by singer-songwriter J.K., the band rose to international fame in the 1990s as one of the most prominent components in the London-based funk-slash-acid jazz movement, and are also best known for their music video with the 1996 single Virtual Insanity. They debuted as an acid jazz band and have since explored other musical directions such as pop, rock, disco and electronica, while their lyrics occasionally reference a social and environmental idealism. Their first release under acid jazz records was When You Gonna Learn, which landed them a record deal with Sony Soho Dot while they were under this label. The group released a string of million-selling albums, including singles that have reached various top 10 charts worldwide. Over the years, Jamiroquai has changed its lineup several times, with Derek McKenzie, drums, and Sola Akingbola, percussion, who both joined in 1994, still in the official lineup. The group currently holds two Guinness World Records, including fastest ever performance on an airplane. Their 1996 album Traveling Without Moving, also holds the record for best-selling funk album in history. Jamiroquai has thus sold more than 26 million albums worldwide. Frontman K won a BMI President's Award, and with the band, also won an Ivor Novello Award, as well as winning one Grammy Award, two MTV Video Music Awards, and receiving 13 Brit Award nominations during the course of their career. Jason J.K., a nightclub worker, began writing songs to send to record companies. Among them was When You Gonna Learn, which was first studio recorded in the Roundhouse in Camden. The producers of this session stripped the song down and produced it based on mainstream trends. K disliked the results and had the track restored to his preference after a dispute. He was then signed to Acid Jazz Records in 1991 after he sent a demo tape of him singing a song of the brand new heavies. Afterwards, he gradually gathered band members, including his friend Wallace Buchanan who played the didgeridoo. K was suggested by his manager to enlist keyboardist Toby Smith but was not convinced by his initial playing style. Smith met the group again after they performed a support act for the brand new heavies. He persuaded Kay to join as the group's co-songwriter and keyboardist. The first song Kay and Smith wrote together was Too Young to Die. Being the front man, Kay is occasionally referred to as the group name, because he is the only person under contract with a record company as the artist name of Jamiroquai. It was widely talked about that the group's formation was a result of Kay's failed audition to become a singer of the brand new heavies but these rumors were denied by them. Jamiroquai had begun performing in the British club scene. When You Gonna Learn became their first single in October 1992. It featured bassist Andrew Levy, who was from the brand new heavies. Kay was originally given £2.5,000 for his first album, when he subsequently signed with Acid Jazz Records. The single however, cost £35,000 to produce due to Kay's control of the production. The single entered the UK chart at number 52. Following its success, the group were offered multiple major label contracts and settled for a $1 million, eight album record deal with Sony Soho. Kay was the only member who signed under the contract, but would share his royalties with his band members in accordance to their contributions. Stuart Sender had left school and subsequently became the group's bassist in 1993. Emergency on Planet Earth was released in the same year and was described by an all-music review as, showing, quite a range of diversity, from the up-tempo jazzy instrumental music of the mind to the stop-start funk of whatever it is, I just can't stop. It reached the UK album's chart at number one, and sold 1.2 million copies worldwide, according to a Billboard report in January 1994. The album's second single, Too Young to Die entered the UK singles chart at number 10. With Emergency on Planet Earth characterized as being environmentally idealistic, the music video for When You Gonna Learn was banned by MTV for featuring clips of the Holocaust and animal experimentation. Derek McKenzie became the group's new drummer after the holiday of their original drummer Nick Van Gelder, took longer than expected. Jamiroquai followed up with Return of the Space Cowboy in 1994, ranking at number two in the UK chart. Q Magazine stated that the album was an ebullient follow-up to their, storming debut. A Rolling Stone review described the group, parlaying, jazzy soul pop so tight, it crackles. The instrumentation of Return of the Space Cowboy was what Joseph Woodard from Entertainment Weekly thought was played by humans, not samplers. While recording the album, Kay feared of falling in Tothi's second album syndrome. He was in a creative block which was emphasized by his increasing drug use. 
the group became popular in Europe and Japan with the album singles Space Cowboy and Light Years. In a 1996 report, the album sold 1.3 million copies worldwide. The single Space Cowboy sold 114,000 copies and was the group's first number one in the U.S. dance chart. The single additionally contained remixes by David Morales, which further put the single in club circulation. At the time, Jamiroquai were primarily known in the United States within its club scene. Stillness in Time was another UK top 10 single, peaking at number 9. The group co-wrote the track Lost Souls for Guru's 1995 album. Released in 1996, Traveling Without Moving sold 1.4 million copies in the US and reached number 24 in the Billboard 200. It sold 3 million copies in Europe, and peaked at number 2 in the UK Albums Chart, selling 1.2 million copies. A review from Q Magazine stated that the album is tighter on more compact in its production, while critic Stephen Thomas Early Wine commented that despite having more fully realized fusions, it doesn't have the uniform consistency of its predecessor. Virtual Insanity, the group's best-known track that boosted in popularity with its music video, sold 356,000 copies and is streamed 4.5 million times as of 2014. It was also number one in Italy and Iceland. Another hit single titled Cosmic Girl, sold 250,580 copies and peaked at number 6 in the UK and remained in the position for 12 weeks. It was number 3 in the Italy chart, number 4 in the Iceland chart, number 10 in Finland, and number 2 in the Belgium Ultra Tip Charts. Cosmic Girl was followed by All Right, which charted in the US Billboard Hot 100 at number 78 and is the group's only song to appear in that chart. In support of the album, the group gave an international tour including the UK, Japan, Australia, Brazil and the US. Prior to traveling without moving, Jamiroquai contributed to the demo track, Do You Know Where You're Coming From? By British jungle beat artist Ambeat. Following a radio leak, Kairi recorded the vocals of the song and was released as a single, as well as appearing on the album. Jamiroquai played as an opening act for the Rolling Stones at a Las Vegas show in November 1997. The group were preparing their fourth album Synchronized, 1999, in Case Chillington Studio Complex, built in his Buckinghamshire country house. During its production, bassist Stuart Zender left Jamiroquai. Toby Smith said that although Zender had not been involved in the album's songwriting process, the group chose to scrap the recordings involving Zender. He was replaced by Nick Fife for new bass tracks to avoid potential lawsuits. Synchronized redirects the band's British tendency toward smoothed out old black jams. According to Spin Magazine. It contained 1999's Canned Heat, which was their second number one in the U.S. dance chart. The song also appeared in the 2004 cult film Napoleon Dynamite. The 1998 single titled, Deeper Underground was listed in the Godzilla soundtrack and was their first and only UK number one, selling 339,100 copies. Synchronized ranked number one in the UK albums chart and number 28 in the U.S. Billboard 200. It sold 3 million copies in comparison to Traveling Without Moving, which 8 sold million copies. Jamiroquai wrote the song Everybody is Going to the Moon for the 2000 film Titan A.E. and its soundtrack. The group issued their 2001 follow-up, A Funk Odyssey, which sold 1 million copies in Europe and was certified platinum. In Australia, it was certified quadruple platinum. Both the album and its single Little L were in top 100 charts worldwide. The former single as well as You Give Me Something were number two in the U.S. Hot Dance Music slash Club Play chart and sold 185,000 in the country. Guitarist Rob Harris joined the group and contributed to the album's songwriting, such as Corner of the Earth. The band embarked on a world tour to promote the album, including locations in Europe, Hong Kong, and Melbourne. They were accompanied by vocalist Beverly Knight, who was featured in a funk odyssey with the tracks, Love Philosophy and Main Vein. Co-songwriter and keyboardist Toby Smith left the band in 2002. Their sixth album titled Dynamite, was released in 2005 and reached number three on the UK chart. Referred to by Associated Press as their most diverse-sounding disc to date, it was produced by Mike Spencer and had been recorded in various locations in Europe and the US. The album's tracks Feels Just Like It Should and Love Blind were characterized as, having, a fatter, dirtier sound than usual. The former single received a Grammy nomination for Best Short Form Music Video. Since the release of the album, the group's lineup has consisted of Kay Harris, drummer Derek McKenzie, keyboardist Matt Johnson, Paul Turner on bass guitar, and percussionist Sola Akingbola.
Jamiroquai were featured in the re-release of Hollywood Swinging by Cool and the Gang which peaked at number 5 at the Billboard Dance Chart. A Greatest Hits Collection, was issued in 2006 and marked the end of Kay's contract with Sony. It topped the UK album chart after its first week of release, and is certified triple platinum by the BPI. In Japan, it reached number 4 in the Oricon album charts. In 2007, Jamiroquai performed in the Gig in the Sky, a concert held on a private Boeing 757 in association with Sony Ericsson. The group thus currently holds the Guinness World Record for fastest concert performed on the aircraft whilst traveling at 1,017 km per hour, 632 miles per hour. They formerly held the record for the highest concert, which was then broken by the Black Eyed Peas performing in a Virgin Australia aircraft. The group appeared in Season 1 of Live from Abbey Road. Rock Dust Light Star was released in 2010 under Mercury Records. 30 songs were written and drafted during the album's two-year production, costing £598,000. $794,000. Matt Collar commented in an all-music review that the group were heading back to, their, rock and organic soul roots. It ranked number 7 in the UK, their lowest position in the country, but reached number 1 in both the French and German download charts as well as in the Dutch album chart. Jamiroquai uploaded a 2011 track called Smile for a free download via their SoundCloud page. That year also saw members Harris, Johnson, and Turner forming the subgroup Radio Silence, with their album Travelogue being released. In 2013, the group's first three albums were reissued and remastered. In January 2017, Jamiroquai released an online short teaser video for their eighth and first studio album in seven years, Automaton, scheduled for a March release. The trailer received more than 5 million views on YouTube and two shows that were scheduled in Paris and London sold out tickets in one minute. In the following week, the album's eponymous single was issued, followed up by Cloud9 in February. Although not released as a single, Shake It On broke into the official French singles chart, peaking at number 154. In May, K seriously injured his spine. Requiring surgery, it led to cancellation of two shows in Tokyo for their automaton tour, which were rescheduled in September. In January 2018, Jamiroquai released a track titled, Now We Are Alone on their official YouTube page. They gave their first U.S. performance in 13 years at the 2018 Coachella Music Festival and were accompanied by Snoop Dogg on stage. J.K. is the primary songwriter of Jamiroquai. Despite his lack of ability to play musical instruments, he would sing and scat melodies for his band members to transcribe Edo their instrumentation. During their career in the 1990s, Jamiroquai incorporated a didgeridoo to their sound. Played by Wallace Buchanan, it was considered as a distinctive element to their earlier musical style. When asked about how the group maintained a successful two-decade career, Kay responded, by not worrying about staying relevant. Jamiroquai never really fitted into a trendy genre or anything. The group has a preference for playing live-over recording studio albums. Kay called their live performances a great way of connecting with fans, and said that studio recording is a bit stiff in comparison. He described the 2010 album Rock Dust Light Star as a real band record that captures the flow of for live performances. Upon the formation of Jamiroquai, the group intended to focus on the use of live instruments within a big band in contrast to computers and synthesizers, as Kay stated that he wanted a proper live band with a proper live sound. In response to criticism towards the group being retro or being funk, Kay's co songwriter Toby Smith said that's what it sounds like when 10 musicians play live. We've established that we can play live. The group's sound is derived from various funk influences from the 1970s. Jamiroquai are most notably compared to Stevie Wonder, with emphasis on Kay's vocals. He, however, has voiced against being compared to other artists. A 2003 compilation titled Under Azuli Records contains a selection of the band's soul, funk, and disco influences, including tracks from the Pointer Sisters, the Commodores, and Johnny Hammond Smith. K was additionally influenced by hip-hop and its culture. In an all-music review for Dynamite, 2005, the album was described as having a grab-bag aesthetic that collects sounds from Sheik and Parliament as Kajagoogle, The Police, and Terry Callier. K said that the influences for Rock Dust Light Star were Rod Stewart, Roxy Music, Pink Floyd and the Rolling Stones, in their more rock-slash-disco phase. Artists who cite the group as an influence include Tyler, the creator, Chance the Rapper, Pharrell Williams, Anderson Pock, and Calvin Harris, who had also remixed the group's material. 
Tupac had sampled from the band's song Manifest Destiny, while Missy Elliott and Chance the Rapper had both respectively sampled the song Morning Glory for 1997 Super Dupa Fly and the 2015 song Is Real. Jamiroquai's sound is generally termed as acid jazz, funk, disco, soul, and R&B. Emergency on Planet Earth, 1993 is categorized as acid jazz, a genre that fuses live instrumentation with hip-hop beats. A BBC Music Review stated that the album laid the foundations for an acid jazz sound that the band would continue to build upon for the next decade and a half. At that point, the group would become a prominent component within the London-based funk-slash-acid jazz movement that the 1996 single, Cosmic Girl showcased the band's increasing disco influence into their later work. Escape premeditated this shift for their next album Traveling Without Moving. The release of 2001's A Funk Odyssey saw the group exploring rock elements to their already established disco sound, while Rock Dust Light Star, 2010 contains Californian 70s funk rock flavors. Automaton, produced by K&N member Matt Johnson, carefully balances their signature sound with E.D. Man Trap music, according to an exclaim. Review of the album the group also explored Bossa Nova in a funk odyssey. Before forming the group, Kay was inspired by the Iroquois spiritual reverence for the earth. This provided inspiration for some of the band's idealistic lyrics, as well as the group's name, which is an interlock of the words, Jam and Iroquois. The 1993 album Emergency on Planet Earth centers on environmentalism. Its track When You Gonna Learn also covers everything from racism to corporate greed. The anti-war song Too Young to Die is according to Kay, not just about people, it's about all forms of life, they're all too young to die. The Return of the Space Cowboy, 1994, discusses homelessness and Native American rights. In the album, the song Manifest Destiny touches on slavery. Termed as a white guilt song, Kay said, when you learn how, cruel, history has been to some people, you get a perspective on why the world is like it is. Dr. Buzz is additionally about racism and gun violence. With the songs 2001 and Automaton, they respectively brand technology for having dehumanizing effects, along its rise with artificial intelligence, which according to Kay is affecting our relationship with one another as human beings. When Traveling Without Moving was released, Kay became interested in sports cars. He was reluctant to release an album that adopts a motorcar concept, despite having written about environmentalism prior, later stating, just because I love to drive a fast car, that doesn't mean I believe in chopping trees down. Nor do I believe in building, more roads for my car. The same album was described by Bibe as having a lighter sound, as Kay stated that he was tired of being a troubadour of social conscience. A Pop Matters review of A Funk Odyssey, 2001, stated that the album is more concerned with having fun than making meaningful social change. Kay said in an interview with Independent that after a while you realize that people won't boogie and dance to politics. Kay occasionally references his personal life in the band's lyrics. Nights Out in the Jungle is about his past struggles with drug addiction, which was previously alluded in The Return of the Space Cowboy. Half the Man is about the premature death of his twin brother, which also doubles up really nicely as a love song. Kay stated that the group's visual aesthetics are important. He assumes creative control over the group's music videos, such as editing, performing his own stunts and entering that a look good after 10 to 15 years. Called icons of the music video format by Atlantic, the group are known for their music video of Virtual Insanity, directed by Jonathan Glazer. In the video, Kay, performed in a room where the floors, walls and furniture all moved simultaneously. Jamiroquai are also known for Kay's array of elaborate headgear. In a 1993 interview with Melody Maker, he said that wearing headgear gives him a spiritual powered hat the Iroquois call Dorenda and if the audience, isn't really going for it, I'll tug the hat down and come on all militant. The illuminating helmet that appears in the video for Automaton was designed by Moritz Waldemeyer for Kay to control its lights and movements and to portray him as an endangered species. Additionally, he wore indigenous-themed headgear, which was met with criticism from the Indian Country Media Network, commenting that he had worn sacred regalia of the First Nations. Jamiroquai were the third best-selling UK act in the 1990s after the Spice Girls and Oasis. As of February 2017, the group has sold more than 26 million albums worldwide, including UK sales of 4.4 million and US sales of 2.5 million copies sold as of 2010. Among their albums included Traveling Without Moving, 
which entered the Guinness World Records as the best-selling funk album in history. Frontman K was given a BMI President's Award, in recognition of his profound influence on songwriting within the music industry. The band also won an Ivor Novello Award for their outstanding song collection. BMI Awards, Billboard Music Video Awards, Brit Awards, Grammy Award, Hungarian Music Awards, International Dance Music Award, Ivor Novello Award, Japan Gold Disc Awards. KISS Awards, MOBO Award, MTV Video Music Awards, with an additional two wins and four nominations for staff. MTV Europe Music Awards, MBPA Awards, Silver Clef Awards. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.